today we are going to discuss about pelton wheel sometimes it is called as pelton turbine and this is the image of the hydroelectric power plant where turbine is used and this one is the pelton turbine so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management this is a layout of the power plant where our focus is on the pelton turbine and this one is the animation of the pelton wheel the pelton wheel is a tangential flow impulse turbine used for high head and low discharge of water this turbine was discovered by the american engineer l a pelton the energy available at the inlet of the pelton turbine is only kinetic energy that means here the pressure at the inlet and outlet of the turbine is atmospheric pressure so inlet and outlet of the turbine is atmospheric pressure a pelton wheel turbine consists of the following major parts penstock here you can see spear this one is the spear nozzle runner buckets breaking nozzle casing and deflector now let's see one by one all these components briefly and this figure is perfectly suitable for the examination now let's start from the first part pan stock this one is the pan stock in the hydro power plant and in this figure you can see the pan stock pan stock is a pipe which take water from the dam that means water is here and take it to the turbine at very high speed here you can see the pan stock at the hydro power plant next part spear this one is the spear and here in this image this one is the spear spear is used to control the quantity of water striking on the buckets it is a conical needle installed inside the nozzle to regulate the water flow or you can say to regulate the discharge it is operated by a hand wheel so here you can see it is operated by a hand wheel and this one is a nozzle and this is the pelton wheel next part nozzle this part is called as nozzle and here you can see this one is the nozzle nozzle is used to increase the kinetic energy of water which is used to strike the buckets attached to the runner next part runner sometimes it is called as a rotor and here you can see this one is the rotor the rotating part of the turbine is a runner which is a circular disc and on the periphery of which a number of buckets are evenly spaced runner is further attached to the shaft here you can see this one is the shaft next part buckets these are the buckets and this one is the shape of the buckets it is called as double hemispherical shape the buckets are made of two hemispherical cups joined together here you can see the splitter this one act as a wall joining two hemispherical cups which can splits the water into two equal parts next breaking nozzle or sometimes it is called as breaking jet and here you can see the breaking nozzle runner keeps rotating due to the inertia to stop the runner in the shortest period of time a small nozzle is provided which directs a jet of water at the back of the vanes here you can see and that stops the runner of the turbine called as breaking jet next part casing this one is the casing the case 
that means outer cover in which turbine is placed so that water cannot splash outside that means surroundings cold casing it also safeguard and helps the water to discharge to the tail race next last one deflector here you can see this one is the deflector it is used to divert the water flow or part of it between the nozzle and the rotor here you can see nozzle and the rotor in such a way that it does not hit the buckets these may be used for an emergency stop or to regulate the turbine next working of pelt and turbine dam store water at its one side when water level is increased at a specific height then the gates of the dam is open and water starts to flow through the pan stop nozzle at the end of the pan stop converts this high speed water into a jet a water jet strikes on the buckets which converts kinetic energy of water jet into the rotational energy of the buckets and runner runner is attached to the shaft which is further attached to a generator rotating runner rotates the shaft which rotates the generator and thus electricity is produced so here you can see this is the runner and the shaft that is attached to the generator and so that the electricity is produced next advantages of pelt and turbine easy assembly intake and exhaust of water takes place at atmospheric pressure hence no draft tube is required so in case of the impulse turbine draft tube is not required whereas in case of the reaction turbine draft tube is required no cavitation problem in impulse turbine it can work on high heads and low discharge it operates with a very flat efficiency curve now disadvantage of pelt and turbine it requires a high head for operation its efficiency decreases quickly with time turbine size is generally large due to the high head it is very difficult to control variations in the operating head if you want to see more engineering videos then subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist thanks my dear friends